What's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to another video. It's Mr. Stevener here. And Tommy. Oh, and Tommy's over here, too. Uh, we're going to be doing a video today focusing more on slope, but we're going to be looking at a different part of slope. Okay, we're going to we looked at graphing, right? If you have a graph and how to find slope of that graph, go watch that card up there, right? If you want to watch that. But this, we're going to be focusing on what happens when uh, we have a point and a slope or two points, all right? But before we get started, besides hitting that subscribe button for me, I had one of my subscribers ask me for help uh, when it comes to uh, these right here, and that's linear functions. And so first, I, I wanna actually uh, let you know that what we're doing right, wow, it's a terrible line. Oh man. I know, that's pretty rough. Uh, linear functions. And linear functions, guys, really what a linear function is, it's a fancy way of saying, um, if you graphed the thing, is it a straight line? That's really it. It can be all kinds of straight lines, all kinds of different directions. That's a linear function, okay? A linear function basically means when I put something in, right, some constant, some thing, one answer comes out. Okay, that's what that means. Okay, so only one answer, and that's a linear function. All right? Now, that doesn't mean hashtag one, by the way. One answer comes out. You'll notice that when you get later into school, uh, you start getting things that are curved, right? Things that are like this. You will see graphs like that, okay? And we are not concentrating on that, okay? So basically, a linear function is as simple as there are three forms. You've got y is equal to mx plus b, okay? Where you've got x as a variable. That's your input. You input x, and out comes y, and it's only one answer. Okay, and that'll be a straight line. If any of these have like squareds or anything like that, they will not actually be um, linear. So that's something to keep in mind. If you see any exponents, it's not linear. Um, you might also see it in um, a different form. You might see it in, let's see, they have it in standard form, which is like ax plus uh, by plus c is another way you might see it. Um, it's really easy. We're actually talking about another video, how to turn standard form into slope form, okay, or slope intercept form. Uh, this right here is the basics of that. But what you might see is a lot of times they try to confuse people because this is a linear function. Why? They'll write it like this, f of x, okay? Now, all that means, okay, is that this is a function of x, so when you put in x, you get something out, all right? So that just means y. So anytime you see f of x, it means y, okay? Uh, same idea uh, if you saw something that's f of y, it's just the reverse of it. That means you're going to find out x, okay? I know that sounds tricky, but that's all a function is. A function, just picture it this way. It's you put something in, you pull something out, okay? Which perfectly leads us into uh, this right here which this is an ordered pair, okay? This is two, three. Tommy, you come over here for me, please. Yeah, sure. Hey, whoa, ow, oh, whoa. Okay, hi, hi, hi. Hi, can I take a drink of coffee first? Sure. <sighs> is it good, is it good? Yeah, you want some? Uh, I better not. Okay, so an ordered pair, okay? Remember guys, this right here, the first one is always X, and the second one is always Y. Exactly, good job, Tommy. So. This is your input, right? Think about it this way. If I were to graph this, okay? If I were to draw a uh, XY table, or not an XY table, a coordinate grid here, and I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I can even go negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative one, negative two, negative three, and negative four, right? Do it that way? Yeah, okay. If I were to go with two, this part's two, and three, the dot goes right there, correct? Yeah. Well, that's all that is, it's just this ordered pair, this idea that if I go over two, what if I input two into whatever this function is, out comes three, okay? If I had another ordered pair, like uh, five, six, right? If I input five, out comes six, exactly. So I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go five, six. Now, I now have two ordered, pairs. When you have two ordered pairs that is able to create a line, 
Uh, so you would draw a line that's a horrible line, but you'd able to draw a line. Notice it's a linear function because it comes out as a line. All I have is two points. I don't have anything else. But from these two points, and that's what we're going to concentrate on today, is from two points, and here's your focus, from two points, how can I find... Well, there we go. Given two points, how can I find slope and y-intercept? sounds tricky. It's really not. All right. So we're going to actually use these two points that we have. Okay. So your first step, and it's just like when we do with graphing in that video that we made the other day. Remember that, Tommy? Yeah. The first thing we have to understand is that these ordered pairs, anytime they're giving you ordered pairs like this, they have to be on the line. If they're not on the line, then it defeats the purpose. Like There's nothing you can find. So you need to figure out which one you want to be ordered pair one and ordered pair two. Okay, let's make the first one one. Okay, the first one's one, and the second one's two. Okay, so now that you know that, do you remember what the formula is? Oh, yeah. Y2. Good. Minus Y1. Good. Over X2 minus X1. Good, buddy. Good. So now, what's my second Y? Uh, that's the two, because that's the second point. Good. So I'm going to put in two. Take away what? Y1. No, wait, not 2. Ah, good catch. I'm glad you figured it out. Why is it not 2? Because the first one's always X. The first one is always X. If you need to label this, guys, do it. I, I honestly, like, I find myself doing that sometimes because it makes it easier for me to remember. It's a good idea. I know. All right. So what is your Y2? 3. Good. Minus 6, right? Over... 2 minus 5, correct? Yeah. Good. So now I solve it. What's 3 take away 6? Uh, negative 3. Good. And 2 take away 5? Uh, negative 3. It is negative 3. You're right. So what's negative 3 over negative 3? Uh, 1. It is 1. You're right. Positive. So that one's really easy. The slope of this is just 1. Oh, wow, that's it? Yep. So if I were to go to right, and this is the reason I picked 1 on purpose, is I want to show you now that you have a slope, we just found our m is one, our slope from our y equals mx plus b, right? We know what our what is, our m, good, our m, m is one. So I'm not gonna put one, remember, there's no reason to put one, so we have y equals x plus b. Okay, now, and here's what's really important, we don't know what b is. Uh, what, do, what do we do? Ah, so there are two things you can do. Are you guys ready? If ever anybody is asking you for B, or in this case, what the y-intercept is, and you have two points, there are two things you can do. First thing, you can graph it. Really? Yep, just like we did earlier. I could graph it, and I can see where it crosses the line. But here's the thing. That one's not always reliable, because you can't always tell exactly where it crosses. Oh, okay, so what's the other option? The other option is, remember how I told you this is a linear function? Yeah. So whenever you put in x... Out comes y? Yeah. Well, guess what? You have one of its ordered functions right here. You have two of them. You know that if you put in 5, out comes 6, right? Yeah. So check this out. I can come over here. If x, if I put in 5, what do I know y has to be? 6. Good. If I were to put in 2 for x, what do I know y has to be? 3. Exactly, because it's a linear function. So whatever I input based on my order pairs, out comes one of these numbers. Okay. So look, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in 5. Watch this. So I'm going to put 5. I know if I put in 5, out comes what? 6. Good. Now all it is is I have now a solvable equation where all I have to do is solve for b. All right? So I take away 5 on both sides to get b by itself, and I get b is equal to 1. So I now found my y-intercept so I can write my equation as y equals, what was my slope? Uh, 1. So y equals x plus 1. And you just wrote your first equation, a slope-intercept form, if you have two points, but you don't have any other information. Oh, man, that's kind of cool. Can we do just one more? You guys want to just one more? Because there's some times where it might be a little bit tricky. But again, this isn't meant to be hard. Linear functions, if you hear that, it's just a fancy way of saying complicated things. It's really not that hard. Uh, there's just a process to each one. And this, 
The last video was on finding slope from a graph. This one is finding slope if you have two points. All right, let's go 2, 7, and we'll go uh, 3, 14. Okay, interesting, interesting. Good, so what do I do? Well, you got to do the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Good, that's something you got to memorize, so I'm glad you did that. So we'll make this our first point, unless our second. You cool with that? Yeah, I guess. Okay, good. Here we go. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and let's get going. So our y2 is 14, right? Minus 7. I don't know why I put a comma. Don't ask me. 14 minus 7 over 3 minus 2. 14 minus 7 is 7, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So our slope is what? 7 over 1, which is just 7. Good. So now I've got y equals, my m is 7, 7x plus b. Do I know what my b is? No, you can find it, though. Okay, I can find it because it's a linear function. Whenever I put in an x, I know out comes one of these y's, correct? Yeah. So I'm going to put in 2 for what? x. Good. So move 7, 2. And what do I put in for uh, the y? Oh, well, since you put in 2, you got to have 7. Good, I put 7 plus b. Now what? You solve it. Good, yeah, do it. All right, so 14 equals 7 plus b, right? I take away what? I take away 14. Good. Take away 14. Ooh, you get negative numbers over here. Oh, man, wait, really? Did you do math right? I think I did math right. Let's see. Let's. Wow, negative seven. All right, so that's okay. So we now know that y equals seven x minus seven. Still doesn't matter. So I can actually then graph that. And this is where sometimes we'll have you graph it. So I just want to show you a quick graph. So don't leave. This is important. So I show you a quick graph. Good. Okay. Good. 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 What's that? That's my daughter. She's over there. Hi. Hi, Adeline. She looks confused. <laughs> All right, so let's graph this real quick. We'll go 2, and we'll go 7, and then the other one is 3 and 14, which is going to be way up here. All right, I'm going to – now I know it crosses at negative 7, so it's actually going to cross the y-intercept, which means cross this line at negative 7, so it's going to be like right – Three, four, five, six, seven, right here. Right, I would then draw a straight line connecting all of those points. That's not really straight. I know. I'm just showing you. And this is actually a pretty almost straight up graph, and there's your line. It's that simple because you have a point and a point. Yeah. And you've got your y intercept because you found it. So, this video, guys, was to help you find with linear functions, with anything, if you have two points, how to find slope and how to find y intercept. Hope this helped, Tommy. It did. Thanks. Did it help you guys? Comment below if it helped, okay? Now you need more help, just ask, okay? Okay?